Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So today I thought we'd make a start on a Viking axe, which is this one. For that we'll need to make a larger eye drift, because I don't have one quite that size. So I've got this piece of... Ow. Um, strong back from a 1800s um, plough which as it turns out unlike the other one which I've got I've got a couple of these um, ploughs that I'm gradually using up um, appears to be actually made out of steel um, so this will actually make a good long lasting drift as opposed to it being wrought iron which is what I was actually aiming for um, so this will be an interesting little forge out um, it'll also make for smaller hammers and so on, um, odd shape drift if needs be. Uh, hoping to get maximal size being about 50 by an inch, um, so 50 millimeters by 25 millimeters or two by by one um, at the top of the struck end, so I can drive through and make some large eyes for things like um, adzes and so on. It won't be quite the traditional adz shape; uh, be a bit more rounded than than usual. But for one or two projects, that should be fine. Um, so, let's get this hot. So, step one uh, for this part of the project is to forge out the little half bolt hole that's left in there. So we've given it a quick brushing just to smooth it down some. So we'll start that. They're doing this. a little bit more. I'm going to go back, upsetting it from the end so we can squish that material back in and then redistribute it as needed. got rid of it. Alright, more or less one side done. reducing it in dimensions. We need to get it down to about 25 by 10 at the pointy end. Now work our way up so it gets to 50 by 25 at the thick end and then we can draw down for a little handle tang area that we can hit on.
going to be a fair bit of that. Um, so yeah, I will bring you back in when I'm down to... So we're making progress. The tip is down to width, keeping it, trying to keep it as straight as we can at the moment. And we're still trying to squeeze a little more metal into the middle. So I think we're a bit under, at least up here we're definitely under. Um, down here we're probably okay. So the tip is 24 by 14, so we've got a little bit of width to lose there. We're about 25 up here, but we've lost some to that middle section, so let's keep going with the tip. And we'll flip it end for end and try and get as much metal towards the middle as we can. If this wasn't steel, I'd quench the rails to leave the center soft and then it ups it down into it. But because this is steel, that's not really an option. At least not one that's going to bear good fruit. We do have a bit of a cold shut forming, but I don't think it's going to be a big issue. What I'm about to do, I do not recommend that you do this. And yes, that is a seven pound sledgehammer. Like I said, I don't recommend you do it, but I'm short a striker today, so, uh, as every day. So today is the day I uh, do something stupid.
man. Much upsetting. We've pretty much got the shape that we need. The hard part is keeping a good grip on this thing now. It's starting to round up. Just be the best ones I've got for the job.
right, that's where I might leave it. Do the rest by grind and weld. I'm going to have to weld to fill in that groove. There's just no way I can manually squish that metal in there. Which disappoints me no end because it's going to be slightly problematic. Um, but anyway. So at the end of the day, where does that leave us? It leaves us with the new drift cooling off. Um, it's still way, way, way too hot. I've got most of the metal where I need it. Um, I didn't quite get the central grooves out. Um, so I'll be back filling that with welding and grinding out and then forging to get more of an oblate shape. Um, hopefully this doesn't uh, come back and bite me in the ass. Um, so catch up next time when I take this project to the next, um, to the final stage. Uh, and um, then in the near future we'll give it a try out on um, making an axe. So if you like the video, hit the like button. Um, do feel free to share on social media. And definitely subscribe if you want to know when the next one, um, when the next video hits. Um, and if you want to be notified by YouTube, hit the, um, the bell. So make time to get out to your shop, have fun, but do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.